Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Gildial. Today is the last lecture of electromagnetic field theory as per your AKTU syllabus. We have almost completed the unit. I have added the playlist in YouTube, you can see. Today, we are going to study energy and momentum carried by electromagnetic waves, resultant pressure, and skin depth. So a quick recap of what we studied. We have already studied that electromagnetic waves are transverse in nature. The electric and magnetic field vectors travel perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the velocity of light. Now, today we are going to prove that since these waves, which are transverse in nature, they carry energy and momentum along with them. Because of this energy and momentum, they create a pressure on the surface on which they fall and the depth of penetration through which they enter a surface for conductor and insulator is known as skin depth. So let us begin. Momentum. You remember the formula for momentum? Mass into velocity. So electromagnetic waves also transfer linear momentum in the direction of propagation of wave. So mass of a particle m moving with velocity v, momentum is given by mass into velocity. From Einstein's mass energy relation, the energy which I have written here as u is equal to mc square. m is mass of particle, c the velocity of light, mathematically 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So m becomes equal to u upon c square. Putting this value of m in this expression above, we get p is equal to u upon c square into v. Density, the energy density in plane electromagnetic wave in free space is given by u is equal to epsilon naught e square. This is by definition. You do not need to derive it. E here is your magnitude of electric field. So what are we going to now do? We will use this expression above momentum energy density or momentum per unit volume is given by u divided by c squared into v. Now, if this electromagnetic wave, though it propagates in x, y, and z, all three directions, suppose it is traveling along the x-axis, then we will take the x-axis component, that is, I, V is equal to C, I, and EMT wave travels with speed of light. So we have written, written C here. So here we will put the value of V equal to C, I. So this C, when you will put V equal to C, I here, one C and one C will get cancelled and P will become equal to U upon C, I. That is only the X variant. We have neglected the y and z for time being. In my third lecture where I had explained you pointing theorem and pointing vector, we are going to use it now because pointing theorem and pointing vector give us the energy carried by an electromagnetic wave. So it is given by S is equal to 1 upon mu naught E cross B. Now E cross B is equal for the x-axis only. We are not taking the y and z variation and we write it as e cross b equal to e square upon c into the i variant. Here we have put the value of b in terms of e and mu naught. So this becomes e is equal to b mu naught 
So uh, mu naught gets cancelled and you are left with E square. So S becomes equal to E square upon mu naught C. Putting this value of E square now, which we had from the derivation, which is equal to U upon epsilon naught, we get S is equal to U upon epsilon naught mu naught C I and these terms one upon mu naught epsilon naught give you the velocity of light C. You have done it in the previous lecture. So now this becomes equal to U I is equal to S upon C here, the X component. Putting the value of U I from equation seven in equation five here, the momentum expression. These are just different ways of writing the momentum expression. You do not need to worry wherever you find yourself comfortable in being able to write the expression, you write it that way. P becomes equal to S upon C square. So this value we have put here, it becomes one upon mu naught C square E cross B. One upon mu naught C square is equal to epsilon naught. So P equals to epsilon naught E cross B. This represents momentum per unit volume of an electromagnetic wave. Radiation pressure, when an electromagnetic wave strikes a surface, its momentum is going to change from the law of conservation of momentum before and after it remains same. But these waves, when they are going to strike a surface, they will give a change in momentum. From Newton's law, we know that rate of change of momentum is equal to force F is equal to minus dP by dt. This force acting on unit area of surface will exert a pressure. Force is equal to, uh, pressure is force upon area called as radiation pressure. So a plane electromagnetic wave is incident normally on a perfectly absorbing surface of area A for a time t. If energy U is absorbed during this time, then momentum P delivered will be equal to E upon C. Derivation or detailed derivation of this we have done in relativistic mechanics also, but here you can just remember the formula. C is velocity of light. If S is energy passing per unit area per unit time, then this U equals to S A T. A is your area and T is the time. So putting this value of U where S is the energy per unit area per unit time in this expression above, we get P equal to S A T upon C where S is the magnitude of pointing vector. So S upon C, this quantity becomes equal to energy density and P becomes equal to UAT, where U is energy density, A area and T the time. All these are different ways in which I am just writing the equation, trying to correlate with the formulas you already know. If you do not want to make it so complicated, you can even just write the definition and any one simple formula which you can memorize for your AKTU exam. Now, from Newton's law, force is equal to rate of change of momentum. So we have momentum expression here. We are just going to do a differential of this expression with respect to T. So F is equal to dP by dT. P is U A T. If I differentiate this with respect to T, this T will D by DT of this expression will be equal to P upon T, which is equal to U A. So the radiation pressure exerted on the surface is equal to pressure we know is force upon area equal to U.
radiation pressure pressure exerted by a normally incident plane electromagnetic wave on a plane absorber is equal to the energy density in the wave now for a perfect reflector or a perfectly reflecting surface the radiation after reflection has a momentum equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to the incident radiation therefore momentum imparted on the surface will be twice as on the perfect surface absorbed so total radiation pressure will be equal to 2 times of u numericals i have made a separate video for numericals where we will discuss it last heading left skin depth skin depth the uh, word itself is explaining the meaning and please skin depth too much detail of dielectric conductor form and all is not in your syllabus you only need to be knowing what is skin depth its basic formula and the definition so see when an electromagnetic wave which by now we have understood is carrying a pressure radiation pressure and momentum along with it when this is falling on a surface then how much penetration depth of penetration it undergoes is dependent in which the strength of electric field associated with electromagnetic field is reducing to 1 upon e times its initial value is known as skin depth skin depth depends on the properties of the conductor that is or a dielectric or any other material on its size resistivity magnetic permeability as well as the frequency with which that signal is undergoing now have a look at this diagram this is like the exponential growth and decay diagram like radioactivity very similar you see exponential factor amplitude of strength of electric field of an electromagnetic wave decreases by a factor of e to the power of minus alpha x where x is your attenuation constant the distance for which electric field for the amplitude of electromagnetic wave decreases by a factor e inverse to its initial value satisfies the equation see here this alpha x i have equated it to 1 in if depth of penetration of skin depth is del then x is equal to del so skin depth is given by 1 upon attenuation constant the reciprocal of attenuation constant is called skin depth or depth of penetration in other simple words if you want to memorize skin depth for your exams there is another simple method skin depth is that distance below the surface of a conductor where the current density has diminished to a factor of 1 upon e times of its value at the surface so skin depth mathematically is given by under root rho where rho is resistivity of the material pi 3.14 frequency and mu mu which could also be taken as a multiple of relative permeability and perme uh, permeability constant numerical is asked on this formula at times so skin depth the tendency of an alternating electric current to become distributed with a conductor such that the current density is largest near the surface of conductor attenuation constant indicates the certain loss of wave signal in the medium skin depth for good conductors is given by del equal to under root 2 upon omega mu sigma where this sigma represents the conductivity of the medium f is your frequency skin depth is inversely proportional to the square root of frequency uh, 
the higher the frequency, the lower the skin depth. So skin depth for an ideal conductor is zero. Now this numerical has been asked in your AKTU 2022 March paper, 10 mark numerical. Find the skin depth at a frequency of 3 into 10 to the power of 6 hertz in aluminium where sigma is equal to 38 into 10 to the power of 6 and mu r is equal to 1. So we use this formula of skin depth, put the mathematical values and we get the answer for the same. My next lecture, I will take up all your numericals of electromagnetic theory. So quick recap, what did we study today? We studied that this electromagnetic wave carries a radiation pressure along with it, momentum along with it, and the depth of penetration. Thank you.